This lesson is on how to identify a statistical question. Let's look at a couple of definitions first. What is statistics? Statistics is mathematics that involves collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and presenting varied amounts of quantitative, that's numerical data, in response to a statistical question. A statistical question is a question that is answered by collecting data and of which there is variability in the data collected. Let's look at some questions. How many apples are on that tree? How well did the students in Miss D's class do on today's math test? How much taller is Jane than Sarah? Does it rain more in San Diego or Seattle during the summer months? Which one of those do you think are statistical questions? How many apples are on that tree? How well did the students in Miss D's class do on today's math test? What do you think the difference is? Question two and four are statistical questions. Question one and three are not. Let's look at the questions that are not statistical. How many apples are on that tree? To find the number of apples on the tree in question one, all you have to do is count them. There is only one answer. How much taller is Jane than Sarah? Subtracting Sarah's height from Jane's height would give you the answer to question three. Each of these questions has only one answer. If four people answered these questions, they would all come up with the same response. How well did the students in Miss D's class do on today's math test? In order to answer this question, you would have to collect data. That would be the score for each student. You would then categorize the scores and interpret them based on a scale of excellent to poor, a scale like that one that attributes a specific range to a letter grade, that an A is a 90 to 100, a B is 80 to 89, something of that nature. This is a statistical question. Does it rain more in San Diego or Seattle during the summer months? In order to answer this question, you would probably collect rainfall data for each of the cities for the months of June, July, and August. You would add up the amount of rain for the three months of summer for each of the cities, and then you would analyze the data to determine which of the cities had the most rainfall. You might also need to collect the data over the summer months over a certain number of years to get an average rainfall amount in the summer. Again, this is a statistical question. That ends this very brief video introducing statistical questions. Enjoy the activity.